So Holy Cross will get it started. And we are underway. Holy Cross deep down the left side and out of bounds. So we've got number 19, Lauren Cernak, bringing it over. She's handing it off to number five, number five, Haley Saunders. So Holly, Haley Saunders getting way deep to throw it in. And here we go. Governor State, nice defense, gets it out of the way, but Holy Cross gains control. Governor State pushing it up uh, and away from their goal. Holy Cross's goalie, Taylor Primack. So Governor State's got control. Whistle. Offsides on Governor State. bringing it up to the far corner, out of bounds. Governor State gonna bring it up. So we're at the center, Holy, Holy Cross bringing it back to their goalie. And out of bounds, it will be Governor State's ball. Governor State gets it in as quick as it possibly can. Leilani Torado throwing it in. Ball heading up, Holy Cross. Number 27, Le Leslie Carranza bringing it up field. Doing a little zigging and a zagging, moving it up very nicely. Holy Cross is now taking the ball. Bruna Krushiski down on the ground. A little limping, she's up. According to the ref, no harm, no foul. So, Governor State gonna throw it in. Tail bringing it up. Governor State now has it. Governor State keeping the ball down in their end very well. This is something that uh, we have not seen in the last couple games. They have been playing very good offense tonight, keeping it up on their side of the field. Most of this action has happened on their side. Out of bounds, it's gonna be Governor State. Wide 
wide open for Governor State, our goalie. Grabs it. The ball is way out. Almost makes it over to the fence and into the parking lot. So Holy Cross has it. Yeah, Yamalet Mateo throws it in. Although Governor State uh, grabs control. Number six, Leilani Tirado brings it up. Still got it. Bring it up down the sideline. If this is your first time watching uh, one of our soccer matches here, one of the things that confuses people is the football field out of bounds is not the soccer out of bounds. The soccer out of bounds is actually probably about another five yards outside of the football field line. So keep that in mind while you're walking, watching our action tonight. And if you are watching our action, welcome to Governor State Jaguars Soccer. I'm Mark Roberts bringing you tonight's game. We've got a beautiful Saturday night here. Temperature right now is sitting at about 80. When we're only about three days away from fall. It'll be Holy Cross, went out of bounds. Holy Cross quickly gets it in. Right now, neither team playing too aggressive. Kind of just feeling it out, seeing uh, what each team can cap capability of doing. We just hit with 38 minutes left in the first half. Handball there. The Holy Cross men's soccer team hollering for a red card on that play. Obviously, calmer minds like the ref says nope. Okay, so Holy Cross is discussing their strategy on this penalty kick. Number seven, Hannah Lemieux. Nope. Number 19, Lauren Cernak. There's the whistle. No. Okay. Number 23 took the kick. Mola has it. Just going to find a little opening. Kicks it. Brings it up to center. Going back the other way. And we will be out of bounds. And it is, it's still Holy Cross. So number five, Haley Sanders will throw it in. Haley throws it in towards the net. GSU, nice defense, gets it out of there. Long kick by number seven, Hannah Lemieux. Stopped by Smola. Kicks it all the way to center. It's stopped by Holy Cross. Smola again. This will be Smola's third kick within the last minute. 
Holy Cross tends to uh, get the ball and tries to bring it back up really quick. Holy Cross seems to be picking up their pace just a little bit. Holy Cross off the top bar. Holy Cross, wide open shot. Out of bounds, it'll be Governor State's ball. That was Lauren Cernak on that kick. My apologies for the tardiness of that. I had a uh, blocking of my view at that moment. Governor State has it up. Governor State has a chance here. Governor State bringing it out to the right. Trying to find some room. Ooh. Governor State back in their area, defended again by Holy Cross. Governor State trying to find some sort of room and some sort of open space to get a shot off. Governor State is looking for their first goal on the season. Deep, deep kick by their goalie, Taylor Primack. Out of bounds, Holy Cross will be taking it. Number 21, Yamalit Mateo. There's been uh, no substitutes at this moment just yet, although I thought I just heard a whistle, but I think it's from the other field. This complex here in Crown Point is a beautiful one. So there are two soccer slash football fields right next to each other, so Forgive me if I feel there's a penalty because I hear a whistle because I have at least eight whistles over on the other field that can be going off while we have some peewee football going. We also have four softball or and or baseball diamonds on the far south end of this uh, complex. And it looks like every field is being used tonight. I believe there's a women's softball tournament happening down on the south end. And one baseball diamond is being used by the men. So Governor State has it. It was a beautiful save by Smola there. There we go. Governor State getting the ball up. And Holy Holy Cross player goes down. Number two, Mariana Tinoco will be bringing it in. She's going to kick, brings it over to one of her fellow Saints. This, stop it'll be a corner kick for Holy Cross number 23 Jennifer Rick, or I'm sorry Olivia Shaw heading over to the corner 
Number 19 grabs a very short in pass. Number 19, Lauren Cernak. And there is a score at 30 minutes, two seconds. Number 23, we just said her name, Olivia Shaw. Olivia Shaw for the point. Olivia Shaw, goal unassisted. The crowd here tonight seems a little uh, more partial to Holy Cross, which is kind of understandable. Holy Cross is really just down the road, uh, close to Notre Dame. If you're not a Notre Dame Irish fan and wanted to see uh, American football, this would be a good chance to get out of town and head over this way to watch some women's soccer. So Taylor Primack. Holy Cross has been doing a dynamite job of spreading the field. Out of bounds, it's Governor States. Little battle over in the corner between Holy Cross, Abby Padilla, and Governor States, Leslie Carranza. They've been doing a little fighting... Uh, Figuratively fighting uh, here tonight. If I have to judge it by just who ends up on the ground, Leslie Carranza may be losing the fight at the moment. She's hit the ground a few times with their uh, with their battles, but it just shows that uh, Leslie is being aggressive and trying to get that ball. little shoe repair going on. So Governor State bringing it in. Nice deep kick. Holy Cross again though. Defends it. Smola called let it go. She's got it. Smola finding a spot. Deep half down the field. Guerrero. So, out of bounds. Holy Cross ref was trying to persuade the ref that it was his ball. Governor State doing a dynamite job passing this ball around. Just struggling a little bit to get it down near the goal. Holy Cross taking it the other way. Almost out of bounds. Number 19, Cernak, keeps it in. Cernak and Mateo. Smola has it for Governor State. Line drive by Smola. Barely got off the ground. Going to try it again. Nice deep over to the right. Number 12, Langlis. Bruna has it. Governor State putting a little pressure on. Has an opening. Grace. Grace McLaughlin had an opening. Couldn't get herself turned around to get a shot on the goal. Governor State again.
Oh. Little dribble across the goal. Almost seemed like uh, Holy Cross didn't seem to want to touch it, and it just kind of dawdled along. So Taylor Primack. Substitution for Governor State University, number 19, Princess Magadan. Number 19, Princess Magadan is in for Governor State. Out of bounds, Governor State will uh, gain control. Number 12, Zoe Langley bringing it in. Out of bounds. Holy cross ball. Out of bounds. Holy cross. We're at 24-28 left in this first half. Holy Cross, one. Governor State, zero. Holy Cross working the ball around, trying to find an opening. Out of bounds. Holy Cross throws it in. We've got a bag blowing across the field. It fooled me a couple times. Not that I thought it was a ball, but I thought it was an animal running on the field, uh, either a cat or a squirrel. But it is just a brown lunch bag floating around. Holy Cross wide open, trying to catch up. Ball way too far out ahead of Oliver Shaw to be able to do anything with it. Olivia Shaw was wide open, had plenty of space. If she could have caught up to that ball, it could have easily been two zip right now. So Governor State has it. Ursula Bravo bringing it up. Holy men's holy name men's soccer team seem to be loving the kicks uh, from Governor State, adding their own sound effects. Number six, Governor State, bringing it up. And out of bounds, it's Holy Cross. 21, Mateo will throw it in. Governor State defends it. Action is starting to get a little more aggressive. We've got a little more bumping, a little more banging. Governor State brings it up in the middle and went over the back, over the back of the net. Holy Cross bringing it up. 12, Zoe. Nice defense. Holy Cross getting it up. So out of bounds, Governor State. Number 14, Alyssa Rosales throwing it in. Governor State, they've got some open. They've got some open. Stopped by Mateo. Basile, Jillian Basile has it. Governor State putting a little pressure down here on this end. 
Hesitating a little bit. And the goalie. McLaughlin, nice shot on goal. Stopped by Primack from Holy Cross. We've got a player down, number 12 for Holy Cross, Ashley McDonald. So the manager is out on the field. While we have a moment, we'll take a look at the CCAC standings for the women's soccer. Right now, Governor State is sitting, well, sitting in the bottom spot, but they do have company with Calumet St. Joe's, Indiana Northwest, and Holy Cross right here. All of them are 0-2 in the conference. I did tell you earlier that Holy Cross is 1-2-4. and four. Governor State is 0-3. When it comes to the CCAC playoffs, any of those extra games do not count. The only games that count are the ones in the CCAC. So whoever wins this game will be able to move up a notch over a couple of the I'll other players here. And Ashley McDonald is up and walking off. Fans give her a nice clap of motivation and respect. But right now, going back to the CCAC standings, Cardinal Stritch is sitting in the top spot at 2-0. and They have company with Judson and Trinity Christian, all of them 2-0. and If we take a look at their overall records, Judson and Cardinal Stritch are tied with a 4-2 and record. If you're just coming in with us tonight... This is Governor State Jaguar soccer. The score right now with 20-36 left in the first half is Holy Cross 1, Governor State 0. We are at the beautiful sports complex out in Crown Point, Indiana. We welcome you aboard. Uh, Mark Roberts bringing you the action tonight. We do have the men's game tonight, which will be 8 o'clock. Hopefully you'll tune in. If you're watching us on Stretch Live, you will have to exit this after the game and click on the men's icon to get into their game. Substitution for Holy Cross, number 15, Morgan Majine. Morgan Majine is in for Holy Cross. So... Governor State will have control of the ball here. Substitution for Holy Cross, number 20, Abby Craig. Abby Craig is now in for Holy Cross. Bravo brings it up. Nice deep kick. A little more fight here be with Governor State on, uh, on the deep kick. Normally it's being headed by Holy Cross. Now Governor State gets into the action. Holy Cross is, or, is trying to defend a really aggressive... Governor State attack over the head of uh, Toronto. So Holy Cross has control. They are spreading the field very wide. Nice move by number two, Padilla. Mateo. Number 20 in there, Abby Craig. Had an interesting and unique way of dealing with the ball. Almost stutter stepping. She's playing on the elite college level, so I presume that style has worked many years for her. So, Governor State bringing it up. little fight in there with Abby Craig and number 27, Carranza, for Governor State. The pushing and the shoving is definitely getting a little, uh, little more active, a little more aggressive. Shoot right past the goal, right over Smola's fingertips, just misses the far side of the net. 
Out of bounds. Smola going to grab it, bring it in. She kicks it up to number nine, Bravo. Bravo brings it up. Governor State grabs it. Holy Cross bringing it up. Grace trying to defend. Number 20 again, Abby Craig. Towards the goal, nice defended by Bravo. Bravo goes down hard. Bravo and a Holy Cross player both go down really hard. Bravo still trying to shake off the cobwebs, if you will. So Governor State brings it up. Cross playing that line. Out of bounds by a defensive kick by Governor State. Substitution for Holy Cross. Number 13 is going out. Annabelle Alfreda. Kathleen Ming in the game for Holy Cross. Ball in. Substitution for Governor State University, number 25, Maritza Reyes. Maritza Reyes in for Governor State. She's wearing number 25. We've got just under 15 minutes. Uh, Smola stops a shot on goal. We've got 14.35 left in this first half. One zip, Holy Cross. Haley Sanders had the shot on goal there. Cross trying to control it, getting some passes at center. Out of bounds. Governor State will have it. Number 14, Alyssa Rosales will be throwing it in. She quickly looks down at Coach Choke to see what's going on. Actually, we have a substitution. Number three, Isabel Camacho coming in the game. Substitution for the Jaguars. Number three, Isabel Camacho. Cross playing down the right side, out of bounds. Couldn't hang on to it. That was number two, Abby Padilla, bringing it up the line. Took it too close to the line. The ball went out. 
Nice move by Governor State. Bringing it up the field. Trying to find a, another open uh, player. Governor State in the center. Trying to. Penalty on Governor State. So Holy Cross is going to bring it up. 12 minutes left on the clock. Governor State grabs it. Zoe Langlis out of bounds. Going to come back the other way with Holy Cross. Governor State trying to get some movement. Spill by Holy Cross. Holy Cross is down. Number six, Kathleen Ming taking a hard fall to the ground. She's holding her left shoulder a little bit. Holy Cross trying to bring it up. Oh, over in the corner. There we go. JB gets it. Tries to bring it up. Holy Cross takes it. Governor State and Holy Cross. Krzyzewski has the ball, trying to keep it in bounds. Nice moves. Nice moves down the line, and it's out. It's out. Number 19, Lauren Cernak, just gets a toe on it and bumps it out of bounds. Number 12, uh, I believe we have a substitution. Yes, yeah, substitution for Governor State. Number 20 is coming in for Governor State, Layla Aguilar. For Governor State University, number 20, Layla Aguilar. Number 12, Zoe Langlis is going to throw it in. Ball up, trying to find some space. Holy Cross has it. Governor State trying to get whistle. It's coming back. Uh, Holy Cross way. Primack has it. Kicks it deep. Holy Cross just loves that outside line. They hug it most of this game. And usually that's what's happening, out of bounds. So Governor State's bringing it up. Camacho throws it up. Shot, shot by Governor State. Handball, Holy Cross. I believe that was number 10 with the hand. Nicole Cook. So Governor State has it. Camacho will be taking the shot for Governor State. In the center, battle. Governor State has it. No, Holy Cross has got it out of there. Nope. Here we go. Number six, Ming, ended up on the ground again for Holy Cross. We've got eight and a half minutes left in this first half. Eight and a half minutes. One nothing, Holy Cross. Holy Cross has pretty much had most of the control over the ball for this game. And we've played most of it down by Governor State's net. There's a shot. Governor State gets it out of there. Although they kick it to the only place uh, they could, which Holy Cross players sitting there waiting. Mateo. Lemieux. Back to Magin. 
Holy Cross trying to get it back up, try to get another uh, shot on goal here. Smola. Out of bounds by Mateo. It'll be ours. Governor State. Langlis, I believe, will be throwing it in. Yep. She'll be taking it. In we go. Down the line to Governor State. Out of bounds by number 19. Princess Magadan. So Langlis going to throw it in again. Tried to find a spot where a Governor State player could cut in and uh, take control. Unfortunately, three Holy Cross defense blocked that uh, pass. So it's a corner kit for Governor State. Number three, Isabella Camacho will be doing it. To the center, and goalie comes down with it. Permac goes up, grabs, and brings it down. No harm, no foul on that shot. So she's trying to find somebody. Six minutes left in this first half. Takes it real deep, number 19, Holy Cross. Aguilar. The tail defense. Well, have a whistle out on the field. It is going to be Governor State's ball. So Governor State's going to have it. Guerrero. To center field. Two Governor State defenders there. Torado trying to bring it up. Taken by Aguilar. Langlis has it. Trying to get something going here. Just under five minutes, just under five minutes left in this half. Shot on goal. Permac goes down with it, protects it. Primack, deep kick, deep, deep kick. Governor State takes control. Holy Cross gets it back. No. Smola grabs it. Four minutes left in this half. Four minutes. Governor State but bringing it up. Priscilla. Tail throws it up. Governor State defends it. Number 30, Guerrero. Out of bounds. I missed whose foot. I believe it is. It was off of Governor State. We have three minutes, three minutes left on the clock. For Holy Cross, number 14, Rachel Gomez, number 16, Joanne Lanos, and number 24, Mia. Yes, yes, yes. 
Governor State trying to be aggressive here in the last two minutes, 45 seconds. Down goes number 19, Princess Magadan. So, Gov State brings it up deep. Out of bounds, Holy Cross. Nope. Mateo drops it, so either it's ours or it is there. And Mateo is actually taking the ball. Number 14. Rachel Gomez. So Governor State trying to find something in this last minute and a half. Trying to get something on the board before halftime. Holy Cross spreading the field. Holy Cross men's soccer team getting into the action with their sound effects. Holy Cross player defends the ball right off the face. That was number 21. Yem. No, that. my mistake, that could not be 21. It's hard to see the numbers all the way across the field there. One minute remaining. So one minute, one minute left in this first half. Five seconds. Holy Cross has control of the ball. Mateo has it. Kicks over to the left. Number 14, Gomez. Out of bounds. Gomez has it. Brings it back in. Shaw. Nice defense by Governor State. Ball over by. Out of bounds. 15 seconds left on the clock. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is the end of the first half. That is the end of the first half. Holy Cross 1, Governor State 0. I'm Mark Roberts. We'll be back with you for the second half. basketball players Trinity Sims and Angie Cowan doing a great job as ball girls for this match.
to welcome the fans at today's match. We even have fans from Las Vegas, Nevada in the house. Thank you. 
Good evening, everybody. This is Mark Roberts. We got a minute and a half left in the halftime period. Second half will be starting shortly. Looking back on the first half, Holy Cross versus Jaguars. Shots on goal. Jaguars did have seven, Holy Cross nine. Saves two by Holy Cross and four by the Jaguars. Corner kicks are tied up with one and one apiece. Offsides, two calls on Holy Cross, one call on the Jaguars, four fouls for Holy Cross, and five fouls were for the Jaguars. The only goal tonight, number 23, Olivia Shaw, and it was unassisted. So both teams are making it out on the field to get this second half started. Governor State will be starting with the ball. This game right now with Governor State and Holy Cross is only one of two Saturday night games. The other game will be starting in 55 minutes down in Bourbonnet, Illinois, where Indiana South Bend will be taking on Olivet Nazarene. We will uh, try to get back to some of the other scores on the, uh, on the day. It is a beautiful evening here in Crown Point at the Sportsplex. Last I saw, which was about two minutes ago, it is 80 degrees right now. Four days left of summer, and Mother Nature is going to bring us the warmth. From what I understand, when the 22nd hits, it, the bottom will fall out, and we'll be back into the 60s. So get ready for your pumpkin spice lattes, your Dunkin' Donut uh, Pumpkin Spice Donuts and all those who love their pumpkin spice, it's coming and it's coming quick. So, Governor State, talk about cutting quick, trying to kick in. Holy Cross, number five, Holy Cross, Haley Saunders taking it up the line. Out of bounds, Holy Cross has it. Holy Cross looks like they're coming out just a little bit faster this half than they did the first half. Trying to aggressively attack the goal on Governor State's size. The 
Mateo on the far side. Boots and off the upper bar. Number 18, still in play though, wait. And Smola has it. Number 18, Ash, Ashlyn Craig off the top bar. That is two shots on goal tonight that are off the bar. So Governor State trying to begin up. JB bringing it up. Out of bounds, Holy Cross. It will be Holy Cross. Mateo. Governor of the State trying to set it up. Ref trying to make sure it's in the right place. Number 16, Guerrero kicks it up. Holy Cross defends. Holy Cross going to try to turn this into a track race again. Nope. Good defense by Governor of the State, though. on the far end, but it's taken away. Number 21, Mateo. You would think I would know her number by now. I have probably listed it off in tonight's game multiple times. She is very aggressive, good speed, and is just all over the field. Bounds, Governor State's ball. Number 12, Zoe Langlis going to bring it in. Governor State aggressive up front. Holy Cross again with that good defense. Gets it out of their end. Whistle, Governor State, Ursula Bravo with the foul. Collision in the back behind the goalie. Patia brings it out of there. Got just under 40 minutes left in the second half. Holy Cross bringing it up the line. Padilla. Padilla shoots it up to number five. Sanders. Sanders has got the lead. Nice defense by number nine, Ursula Bravo. Both players running down the line, shoulder to shoulder, pushing with that shoulder, and Ursula gets her foot in and gets it out. Holy Cross trying to bring it up. Again, being aggressive. 
Governor State gets it out of there, turns it the other way, number 19. Magadan, Princess Magadan. Here we go, Langelis. Gonna bring it all the way up into the stands. The ball all the way up into the stands. So I guess you would call that out of bounds. Langlois. Langlis, if you can see on her left arm, she has the captain badge. Governor State. Tension and emotions are starting to get a little high out here. Number 18, Ashlyn Craig for Holy Cross and Princess Magadan, mixing it up a little bit. Ashley Craig didn't like the fact that Magadan allegedly leaned her foot on Ashley Craig's back. Personally, I think she was just trying to get her leg out of the way and just could not lift high enough. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, Governor State coming up, number seven. Basile, Basile still got it, takes it over to the middle. Nice hard kick by 19. Magadan. Magadan kicked the ball, and I can't get the Holy Cross number, but Holy Cross player number seven took the ball right into the stomach, Lemieux. Crowd starting to show a little energy, a little support for our Jaguars. So Primack takes it deep. Win it, win it. There we go. Go, if you're interested in how some of the other teams did today in the CCAC, Roosevelt pummeled Calumet 8-zip. That was on Calumet's home turf. So Calumet St. Joe's on the losing end. Here we go. Holy Cross bringing it up the line. Abby Padilla bringing it hard. Governor State, nice defense by Governor State. Definitely seems to be a little more speed and a little more aggressiveness out of Governor State in this second half. Number 27, Karana. Holy Cross bringing it up, number five. Number five, Haley Sanders. Olivia Schaub taking it on the right side. Shoots on goal. Smola brings it in. Smola kicks it deep. Headed by Holy Cross. Holy Cross has control. Coming back down towards the net. Smola grabs it. State, nice defense in the center of the field. Holy Cross living with that out of bounds line on the far side. JB for Governor State throwing it in, and that's not Pritzker. Lights are on on the field with 35 minutes left in the first half, or second half, rather. Score is Holy Cross still with the lone goal in the game. Substitution for Governor State, number 11, Bruna Krzyzewski. Bruna Krzyzewski now in the game for Governor State. Holy Cross has the ball up front. All that's left is the goal. And off the top bar again. Trying to take nice defense. Third cross bar, number nine. That was number 19, Lauren Cernak. 
shot on goal. Holy Cross. Holy Cross spreading the field again. And Governor State down. Number 18, Ashlyn Craig uh, with the slide and knocks down number 27, Leslie Carranza. She's still down. They call in the medical. She took a vicious fall at the hands of number 19, Lauren Cermak. Or no, it was, eight, I'm sorry, it was 18, Ashlyn Craig. Medical is looking at the left knee, getting her up. How about a big hand for number 27, senior Leslie Carranza. Leslie's up, needing to be walked off, but she is walking under her own power. Taking a look at some more scores by CCAC opponents. Judson played an independent game against uh, Concordia, Michigan. Judson came out successful, 6-zip. In CCAC battle, we had Trinity Christian visiting Cardinal Stritch, and they broke out to a 2-2 tie. So that means those two teams who were 2-0 are now 2-0-1. So it's going to be a big battle for the top spot of the CCAC. So Governor State trying to get something going here. Mateo. Guerrero for Governor State. And out of bounds by number six, Toronto, Governor State. So it'll be Holy Cross ball. has it out in the middle. Governor State, nice defense. Governor State swarming the ball. Number 23, Governor State, McLaughlin. Goalie Primack has it for Holy Cross. Okay, Primack kicking it up. Governor State, nice defense, gets it back back out of their end. It's a race off for the ball, and it looks like Hannah Lemieux is going to win that, that run. Out of bounds, Lemieux brings it over to Primack. McLaughlin trying to defend. Langley's trying to put a little defense in there also. Bravo, number nine. Got some nice passing going on by Governor State right now. And just as I say that, Holy Cross steals. Gov State gets it out of there.
Holy Cross will be throwing it in. Haley Sanders is going to be throwing it in. I'm not not sure how much ambiance you can hear out on the field, but if you hear whistles with no action being stopped, you're not hearing things. There's actually a Pee Wee football game going on a field about 20 yards away from us. Shot on goal, stopped by Smola. But thanks to the Pee Wee football game on the other field, we've got about 10 whistles that are able to go off at any point in time. So they catch me off guard every once in a while here. We have just under 30 minutes in this second half. Governor State. Governor State's got it. Holy Cross closing in. Aguilar trying to do something with it. She had three Holy Cross players surrounding her. So Holy Cross getting itself set up for the throw in. Abby Padilla will be doing it. As the honors, here comes Abby. She's got to throw it sooner or later. She can't just keep walking up the field there. But okay, there we go. Out of bounds by Governor State. We'll regroup. Governor State's been doing some dynamite defense this second half. Keep that defense going, and hopefully uh, the offense will start to follow suit, and we will get some goals. For Holy Cross, number four, Catherine West. Catherine West, number four, is in for Holy Cross. Krzyzewski kicks way up, out, and over. The ball has definitely been spending a lot more time down on the Holy Cross side of the field this time. This is good to see. Ball in, ball up. Holy Cross trying to find some opening. Nice stop by number 30, Guerrero, although she grabbed her leg afterwards. Well, she's back up and in action. Torado fighting over in the corner. Number seven, Basile, JB. Okay, so Jaguar will have it. Nobody seems, oh no, there we go. Guerrero with the kick. And they called a foul on that on Governor State. Langlis is giving body language over there. She's not happy with whatever was just called. Craig kicking it in. Nice deep kick. Holy Cross. Smola with the stop. Bravo setting up for the kick. Out of bounds. Substitutions coming in the game. Got number six for Holy Cross, Kathleen Ming coming in. 
And in 25 for Governor State, Maritza Reyes in for Governor State. Twenty-five minutes left in this half. McLaughlin on the corner kick. Governor State trying to get something going. Back-to-back -back headers, but could not get in, gain any control for a goal. It'll be Governor State. Rosali. Ball in. Oh. <laughs> Ashley Craig with the kick. Control around the net. Holy Cross brings it out a little bit. Get themselves set up again. Smola with the stop. Holy Cross. Out of bounds, looks like it'll be Governor State's. Tirado for the throw in. Tirado thought it would go out of bounds. Well, and it did. Governor State's, Governor State trying to move it quick. Try to catch uh, Holy Cross napping. Ball coming deep. Holy Cross trying to control. Governor State's definitely showing the endurance in this game. Holy Cross does seem to be sputtering a little bit, a little slow, a little more walking than the Jaguars. Jaguars have seemed to be aggressive this whole game, been moving over the whole field. The only downside of their action at this moment is the only goal on the scoreboard belongs to Holy Cross. Langlish trying to get in there, trying to cause some havoc. Governor State up the line, Holy Cross trying to control it, out of bounds. Lemieux trying to find something, trying to find something, and there we go. Sideways off of the foot. And shot no wide right. The ball ricocheted off of Ursula Bravo's leg. She tried to kick it forward and it bounced off her shin and actually went backwards for Holy Cross to take a shot.
So Holy Cross coming up. Shot on goal and in. Taylon Hendrickson with the goal. Number three, Taylon Hendrickson. Number 19, Lauren Cernak with the assist. So we're back in action, and that ball is in the parking lot and bounces off a couple vehicles. So we are waiting. Nope, they've got another ball in. We're just under 20 minutes left in this game. Little battle in front of uh, Holy Cross's net. Governor State trying to do something. Krzyzewski kicked, popped up way too high, and Primack just waited underneath it for the catch. So, Governor State, again, nice defense. They have the ball. Now if we can get it up. State's ball. Toronto. So we got 17.45 left in this game. Taking a look at some other scores on the day for the women's soccer. St. Francis came out on the victorious end. Three zip against Indiana Northwest, so that's CCAC implications. And also St. Ambrose comes out with a victory over St. Xavier, three to one. So right now, all home teams have won or tied, except for Roosevelt. Primax got the ball. Holy Cross trying to get some action going here. Nice defense by Governor State. Nice swarming defense. Governor State's been pretty much getting no less than three defenders around any player that has the ball. Collision in the middle of the field. Holy Cross player down, limping, number 19. That's Lauren Kersak. Cermak. She had tripped over number six, Toronto, for Governor State. Throw in by Silly. Number, 
number 19, Princess Magadan from the Jaguar. Princess Magadan is back in the game for Governor State. Out of bounds, both players pointing from each team in the opposite directions. Governor State is the one telling the truth. Guerrero free kick sets up, brings it up. Governor State has control of it. Rosales and Primack grabs the ball. Primack, nice deep kick. Langlos trying to get Langlos down. Whistle. Going Holy Cross's way. Langlis was the one that got pushed and knocked down, and Holy Cross gets the ball. So Bravo trying to do do some dancing and zigging. Silly has it on the far right, over to the center field. Thirteen forty-two left in this game. Governor State's going to have to put a little more pressure on and definitely get something near the goal in the next few minutes if they want to have a chance on this. Holy Cross apt to just kind of pass it around and let the clock run. I don't know if Holy Cross was in a stall or wasting time, but it certainly seemed like it. Holy Cross just seems to be content to just hang on the ball and pass it around. Governor State with their defense just definitely trying to get in there and get that ball out of bounds. Governor State. Bravo. Nope, not Bravo. Hands it off to Rosales. Elisa Rosales. Leslie Carranza's back in. She seems to be okay. We see her left knee is taped up. And for Holy Cross, number 16, senior Joanne Lanos. Joanne Lanos for Holy Cross is in the game. Langlis throwing it up, trying to find some sort of opening, trying to move this quick. Langlos on throw-in, trying to find, see where she's going to do it. In it goes, almost stopped by the ref. I don't mean by whistle, but by his own feet. Just under 12 minutes left in this game. Holy Cross hanging on to a two-point lead. Defended, but out of bounds. Rosales throwing it in. Whistle. Substitution. Holy Cross. In the contest for Holy Cross, number 12 from Canada. Ashley McDonald. Ashley McDonald's now in the game for Holy Cross. Saints are starting to uh, empty their bench a little bit, get a little rest for their veterans. Jaguars still sticking in with their top players, trying to get something going. 
Megan in with the penalty. Number seven, Lemieux hitting the ground. Doesn't seem no worse for wear, but it was a penalty nonetheless. Number 19, Cernak. Letting the clock just tick. Ten minutes left in this game. Nice collision out on the field, or a hard collision, I guess I should say. No collision is really nice. Governor State. Trying to get the ball out of their end. Holy Cross trying to find an opening. Offsides, Holy Cross. It'll be the Jaguars ball. Bravo with the kick. Jaguars trying to get some action. Out of bounds, Governor State. Jaguars going to bring it in quick. Rosales looking. Oh, substitutions. We got less than nine minutes left in this game. Number three, Isabella Camacho in the game for Governor State. And for Governor State, number three, Isabella Camacho. And for Holy Cross, number 13, Annabella Alfreda. Annabella Alfreda is in the game for Holy Cross. Governor State kicks it out bounds, stops the charge by Holy Cross. Eight minutes left in this game. Corner kick by Olivia. Shaw gets another corner kick. Smola in the center of all that. Comes down with it. Kicks it deep out of the way. Vasily out of bounds. Gets it in really quick. Trying to get some action to go. We got seven minutes left in this game. And I can't read the number, number 24, Garatoni. Garatoni and Langlis tying it up on the far side. Kick deep. Down the line. Defended by Governor State, but out of bounds. Six minutes left in this game. Rachel Gomez is in the game for Governor or for Holy Cross. Ball is out of bounds. Oh 
Five and a half minutes left in this game. Governor State need to put the pressure. They've been doing great with the pressure. Just cannot get the ball down to the goal. Here we go. We got some movement up the field. Carranza taking it up, passing it outside. Bravo has it. Vasily and Bravo. Langelis. Langelis puts a kick in right into Primrack's arms. Just under five minutes left in this game. Governor State putting some pressure on. Langley's in there. Basili brings it up, taken away by Governor State. Or Holy Cross, Holy Cross kicks it out of bounds. Governor State has it, brings it in quick again. Langley's Basili over in the middle. McLaughlin with a header, trying to get it over Primack. Primack said, "No way." Primack kicks it. To the out of bounds. Clock is still ticking. Three and a half minutes left on the clock. We got a fan. Well, they got the other ball in, so. Governor State trying to get something going here. A lot of Holy Cross players ending up on the ground this half. Carranza trying to Langley's. Holy Cross kicks it deep, though defended. A little pushing and shoving. Serato doing a little pushing and shoving with Alfreda, Annabella Alfreda. Alfreda lifting her hands like a, uh, well, uh, I don't know if I can say it, but I'm going to, anyway, you know, WT, uh, well, you know, third letter. If you don't, then you don't need to worry about it, but kind of the action that uh, was being given to Toronto. Substitution for Holy Cross, number five, Haley Sanders. Haley Sanders is in the game for Holy Cross. Cross. We've got two minutes left on the clock. Two minutes in this game. Clock is still ticking. Ball is out of bounds. Nobody's really rushing to get it. We've got Shaw. Another collision. Got a minute and a half. 90 seconds left in this. One minute left in this game. One minute. One minute remaining. So it's on Holy Cross's end of the field. Taking good old time to get this set up. 45 seconds left on the clock. It's going to be a corner kick. Just wasted 25 seconds to get that corner kick going. 
And out of bounds. Clock still ticking. 30 seconds. Ball is in for Governor State. Holy Cross. 13 seconds on the clock. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is the game. So, 